the last one was the one that um I made I produced for Suki. For Suki? Yeah. Okay. It's gripping, gripping, gripping. Okay. You know that song, no? No. You never heard that song? Mm -mm, I'm not sure. Girl, I, I love it when you book your name. Oh, well, yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my mm -hmm. goodness. <laughs> Um, but but the, what is the general reaction reach to these types of songs? Okay, you know what? Like people like to say, like reach, why do focus on making all the type of songs? Mm -hmm. But the ratio from let's say good lyrics to bad lyrics is like three to one. Okay. When I release a, a wild song, mm -hmm. I release some good song. Like there was a song I had was um I want you to love my music. Okay. There's a song I made for my ex girlfriend, baby, I love you, don't go. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, man, I'm quite a little GP. <laughs> and next song, Caught in Your Trans, and all these nice songs. But you realize now, when you watch the views and the streams, people always tend to go to the wilder songs. Mm -hmm. Like I say, for Stop the Tonight, mm -hmm. the dirty version has about two and a quarter million views. Mm -hmm. And the clean version, which is She Won the Ridge Tonight, has 10,000 views. So that goes to show that people gravitate more towards the mm -hmm. wild side mm -hmm. and at the end of the day the music is a business mm -hmm. so if you have something that's selling you cannot like let's say you have a rum shop you cannot say oh I put it in my rum shop and we sell a soft drink what's going to happen